guys welcome back to my channel my name is Serena and today I'm going to be sharing with you my twin flame journey watch this video the reason I'm sharing this is honestly not so much because I believe in the typical like twin flame concept and journey and idea, but honestly to use it as a label <laughs> for myself so that it's easier for you guys to understand the level of connection that I'm talking about. So short backstory on how I met my twin flame. So I was actually on a cross continent um, camping trip with two other people, one of them being my significant other at the time. And what ends up happening is I meet my twin during this trip and things are not going particularly well with my other partner at the time. And so I meet my twin and it literally blows just everything out of the water. And this can oftentimes happen when you meet your twin flame is one, you're not looking for them. Two, you're not even like in a place where that makes logical mental sense and then three it completely changes your life direction and you have like a spontaneous awakening or like a mini awakening right so for myself specifically i had been on this spiritual path since really like the age of at like at least 17. um and so it's been about a decade for me of being on a spiritual path and following you know my intuition learning to trust and follow my heart all of these things so i'm on this cross-continent um, trip and we're driving from cape town south africa to cairo egypt and originally this was meant to be filmed as a documentary series on sustainable travel and spiritual travel and our funding got pulled but three of us decided to go anyways and that was me my partner at the time and then also um, one of our team members so the three of us decide to go on this trip and as we're traveling through South Africa we stop at a place and the surf instructor there immediately catches my attention now granted I have never had this with any partner that I've been with I've never instantly been like oh my god I need to know this person and it's not only like a sexual attraction but it's also just like a deep knowingness of wanting to like experience this person and it really the craziest thing about a twin flame connection for myself personally is it has nothing to do with me like that's the craziest part is it's the most selfless thing like i just want them to have everything that they need and whatever happens for me is what happens for me so the the wild part is i wasn't looking for it i was with another person at the time but yet here it is right and so within this time and it's about a month span from meeting them to deciding to leave this trip that i was on and through that time we're traveling through different countries having different experiences blah 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 and so the crazy enlightenment that i had after meeting my twin was that I'm deserving of love no matter what. So prior to this, I felt like I had to act a certain way. I had to be a certain way. I have to conform to a certain type of relationship in order to receive love, right? And the spontaneous awakening that I had after meeting my twin was that I'm worthy of love just as I am and that there is somebody out there who is fully accepting of everything that I am I don't have to struggle to change myself and for me a lot of this struggle came from accepting my sensitivity so I am a highly sensitive person I'm an empath I'm an INFJ I'm an intuitive healer and all of these things my entire life really felt like a chain like a burden and when I met my twin I was able to share with them my full soul, my full self, and be accepted for it. And so there's a part of me that couldn't comprehend that. I remember thinking for the first time when I met my twin, like my twin is full of shit. They do not love me like that. They do not care about me like that. And granted, after two days, 
of being with my twin and meeting my twin and conversing with my twin and you know feeling with my twin I was like how how can I be in love with somebody how can I be fully accepted for who I am how can I how can I any of this in such a short amount of time but with twins time doesn't matter because they are your split soul so you have been coming together and separating and coming together and separating for your entire existence and i've talked about with this with my twin and we both kind of come to the same conclusion we both believe that you know in certain lifetimes we were not together and then in certain lifetimes we were and weren't didn't stay together the full time and then you know in, in this lifetime we're not we're still we don't know and that's the main thing right is you never know so it's it's about being so secure within yourself and that's a major part of the twin flame journey and when you do unite with your twin flame it's because you have gotten to that point right of not being codependent on a relationship in order to be okay and this is where most twins struggle right is you've got the runner and you've got the chaser and for me i was the runner i really really was i was the runner so I met my twin, I continued 30 days on this um, crazy adventure, I had my awakening, I decided I cannot sustain this trip anymore, I cannot sustain the relationship I was in anymore because I was so, you know, so involved or in, intrigued with my twin that I decided I need to go back home to the States. I was on the continent of Africa in Malawi and I decided there on New Year's Day that I needed to go back home, I needed to rest myself, I needed to recover, I needed to integrate all the lessons that I've learned thus far. And so I came back home and I was the runner, you know? I was the one that was like, I'm not ready for this relationship. I'm not ready for what it's gonna hold for me. I don't know if I can handle that amount of love because at that time I was ending a toxic relationship where I really wasn't receiving like any love that was nourishing to me. So then now having a person that was like so loving was just completely overwhelming. And you know, you second guess yourself and you say, this person's full of shit. They definitely don't love me that much. They're calling me beautiful, but I don't believe it. And so coming from a toxic relationship to the most most loving relationship you've ever been in is one such an amazing sense of gratitude but two a complete mind fuck it really really is it completely just blows you out of the water and if you've if you've met your twin or been in a twin relationship where there is that just pure unconditional love then you understand what I'm talking about because even your darkest things even your most shameful things they understand they relate to you and they love you anyways and that pulls up our most deep insecurities that pulls that makes us want to run and hide so I spent about four or five months back in Chicago in the States and um, my twin was there every single day talking to me uh, making sure I was okay helping me heal I was helping him heal and we worked through so much together through this distance um, and then there finally came a day where I was like okay I think I'm ready to explore this deeper and more fully and so for me the major awakening that came in my twin flame journey when I knew I was ready to go back and to really be with him was this idea of separation, right? So we think there's us and we think that there's the other person, right? Within relationships. So there's these two people and they come together to have this relationship, right? But really what it is, is it's a lot more fluid than that. And I usually see it as like an arc. Um, and so there's you, and then there's the relationship, and then there's the other person. And so the way that this works is understanding that we all involve ourselves in relationships like a network. And there really is no separation between yourself and your twin. So what that means is you can no longer make selfish, self-serving decisions when it may negatively impact your twin because it also hurts you. So the idea here is the relationship 
becomes the forefront of everything that you do is everything starts and ends in this relationship container and then everything builds around that. So I'll give you an example. When I was ready to come back to South Africa to be with my twin, I was looking at booking flights. And so my twin basically said, hey, book the flight. I'll come pick you up whenever you're ready. Okay. And I was feeling so sick to my stomach. I was like, I don't know. Like, I'm not ready. Like, nothing about this feels right. And then I had this aha moment that conscious partnerships collaborate and work together for everything. There is no singularity when you're in a conscious relationship. It is a unit and you become one. And that's what Twin Flame Union is about. It's about the fact that we understand that we are not separate. So what affects one affects the other. And what is good for one is good for the other. And we see it relationally like that. There is no opposition. There isn't, there isn't space for opposition because there is no separation. So I saw that I had all the power. I had the power to dictate when I was going, where, when he was coming to pick me up, everything. And I said, wow, what do I value more? Do I value having power more or do I value conscious collaboration more? So I had this beautiful awakening before booking my ticket that more than wanting to control when, where, and how everything happens, which believe me, I always do want to control it because that's what a Leo is. We're leaders and we're, we're very particular. Um, and that's also what a highly sensitive and empathic person is. We like to control and have structure and rigidity around our environments and our sensations and everything we're experiencing. And not to mention the fear of you know, spending two days with my partner, not seeing them for five months and then coming back to them. It's terrifying. But I had to come to this place in my own evolution that says, okay, do you love power more? Or do you value the power of love more? And so I had to let go and say, you know what? Thank you for offering to pick me up when and wherever I dictate but I would rather decide this with you. And this is about the rise of the feminine. This is about the rise of the feminine leadership and how we had the matriarchy, right? We had the matriarchy, which is the women were at the center, the women were in power and the men were little. Then we moved into the, the place of the patriarchy where the men are at the top and the women are little. Now we're moving into this balanced place where the feminine is rising again, but the feminine needs to choose to have the masculine in line. Not less than where the matriarchy comes into focus again, but to have that divine union of equality, right? So I had a choice. I had a choice to bring the matriarchy back and pull rank and pull power, or spirit was giving me the choice to say, hey, What's more important to the love and the connection and the communication? So that was a beautiful evolution. Um, and we got on the phone, we booked our tickets. Um, and see, I can't even refer to them as my tickets because it was ours. It was our choice. We collaborated. And this is how we operate for everything. When conflict comes up, I say, hey, this is how I feel about this. This is the result I would like to see. What do you think of that? Are you okay with that? Do you want to make changes? And it's all about conscious communication at the very, very core of that relationship is knowing that in order to value your togetherness, you have to also value that you are individuals, right? So I don't mean we're separate, but I mean that we are individuals. And this is how we can heal the earth through these twin flame relationships is starting to treat everyone else that we meet as we would treat our twin. That is the most healing thing because when you truly meet your twin, you cannot separate yourself from them, but you can see that they are an individual with their own likes, needs, desires, values, beliefs. And by fully honoring their individuality is the only way that you can come together and be fully in union. 
And this has not been an easy practice for us either. Me and my twin have worked a lot at this and I've been here a little over two weeks in South Africa. We've been living together right out of the gates. You know, I spent the first week almost, the first like five days of being with my twin, also with his family and extended family. So, so much of twin relationships are just, they don't conform to society. So a lot of times when we meet our twins or we have twin experiences, we can't understand with our mind, the relationship. It doesn't work, which is why oftentimes there's a runner and there's a chaser because we can't understand it with our mind. So a lot of fears come up. But when we really tap into our heart, you feel it clear as day. You really do, which is why people don't question whether it's their twin. What they question is their ability to handle the relationship or themselves. You know, I look at my twin a lot of times and I look him in the eyes and I say, I am terrified of you, but I'm not really terrified of him. What I'm terrified is of myself, of my ability to create and hold boundaries, my ability to share space, my ability to be objective and put the relationship first. I fear nothing of him. I feel everything of myself. Your twin is just meant to mirror back to you all of your insecurities, your desires, your insufficiencies, whatever it may be, your shadows um, and your light. You know, the beauty you see in your twin is also the beauty that you hold. So that's been my twin flame journey. We're, we're two weeks in, a little over two weeks in, and we've worked through so much already. We've had some strong issues on creating this space and separation. Um, I'm very introverted and very devoted to my work. Um, and my twin is, my twin's energy is very intense and he's very passionate and expressive. You know, his Mars is in Leo, um, his, his um, moon is in Leo. So in places of passion, he's very strong. But for me being highly sensitive, when I have that strong energy coming at me, it's like, whoa, that's a lot. And so we've had to work collectively together, him softening his energy as he comes towards me so that I can fully receive him and me being more open to him on just a regular basis, you know, because I can be very closed and introverted and into myself and into my own little world. So I've had to practice being a little bit more open and willing to receive. Um, so there's, there's so many lessons and so many things to work through, but the major thing about being with your twin is that it seems like everything that comes up, if you're ready to be in union with your twin, everything that comes up is never really a, an actual issue. Like it's so much easier to work through it than with any other like, you know, karmic relationships or soulmate relationships. Like it just, it makes sense and it just works. Like the foundation is there, the respect is there and the trust is there. So having this relationship has been one of the biggest adventures of my entire life and I'm sure it will continue to be. Thank you for watching this video. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. If you liked hearing about my Twin Flame journey, please like, comment, subscribe down below. If you have any questions or if you'd like to know more about um, twins or different twin struggles or lessons on conscious relationships, please put it in the comments. I would love to know what interests you guys in this space um, and I'll be sharing more. I'll also be having some videos where my twin may be coming on with me. So look forward to that as well. Let me know what other kind of content you would like to see and know that I have a free group meditation coming out on a monthly basis where you can connect with other women around the world. This meditation is free. It will be happening in many different time zones. So if you go to the below links, you can sign up. It'll be the first thing that pops up on my website when you go onto my website. And all you have to do is put your email in and then I'll send you all the details on when, where, how it's happening. Um, but I really look forward to seeing you there. This meditation circle is all about women and connecting with, you know, divine feminine energy. So please, if you are female or resonate strongly with female energies, 
um, join my meditation. I would love to have you there. So excited about it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Big love, Serena.